This is Atomic Heart running on the PC with an LG C1. And the game doesn't support native HDR or auto HDR from Windows 11. So what are we going to do? Just play on SDR? Absolutely not. If the game doesn't support HDR, we force it. <laughs> we pay way too much money for these HDR TVs to then go and play on SDR. <laughs> I was watching the other day all the S95C live streams from FOMO, Tech with KG, Max, um, you know, Brian, even Gaming Tech joined that party. And after they show you the 77 inch QD OLED HDR awesomeness, <laughs> they end up playing this game on SDR. And I was like, man, <laughs> I wish I could get my hands on every single OLED. Philips, Sony, Panasonic, Samsung, QD OLED. And I know I can figure out a similar trick to what I'm using right now. Let me show you. I shared this before. If you haven't watched that video, these are probably the most important settings I've ever shared on this channel because it works for every single game. So we're basically taking out of the hands of the developers our HDR gaming experience. So if the game doesn't support HDR, I don't care. I just use the settings and it looks fantastic. So if you have an LG OLED, you're playing on the PC, just lower screen brightness to 41. You open the game on SDR, but you have HDR on on Windows. And you use tone mapping off. And then you come here to this secret menu, 1113111. And you're going to change the master in pick and the max CLL to 540. And then what you do is you max out this slider. See? The SDR, HDR slider. You max that out. And you're all set. And also what we're doing here, let me show you with the HDR calibration app. What we are doing is we are clipping that 540 because... The SDR HDR slider, this slider is pushing Max CLL 498. So then, if I select here close to 500, you see that the logo is disappearing. So 540 is completely clipped. So at 400 and 500, it might be clipping on the recording. You see, this is the logo. This is the logo. So when I go close to 500, the logo is almost disappearing and at 540 is completely disappearing. So that's what I'm doing basically. So if you have a different TV, what you have to do first is you have to double limit the black level of the TV. So how can you know the setting? How can you know that you are double limiting the black level of the TV? You use a near black test pattern that I'm going to share with you in this video. And I'm going to show you what you are uh, looking for. Basically, in this near black test pattern, let me show you. Well, you cannot see it on the video because it's crushing with the settings I am using on the recording. But basically, with this near black test pattern, we have, let me point with my hands, we have columns. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns. So you want to have eight columns and crush the rest of the pattern, basically. I would need to change the settings of my camera so you can see that. Actually, let me do that. Let me get the camera on my hand and show you that. Because this is very important. If you have a different display, let me change the gain. So this is going to make all the game clipping. That's the way I have to show you this. Okay, so you see this pattern? This is the key to get the, H the SDR HDR trick working. You have to cross, you have to make sure you can see this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns counting from the right, and you're crushing the rest. So you're lowering the black level until you crush this. That's, that's the key. And then what you have to do is test the, the tone mapping options that you have available until you can uh, you know, push as much brightness as you can. 
Most of those TVs have a dynamic tone mapping option that you can use. So try that dynamic tone mapping option and see if that is going to you know, push the brightness and give you that HDR uh, you know, impact. And just try with the HDR calibration app and see which tone mapping option gives you clipping closer to 500, basically. I know that you know other TVs don't have this um, you know secret menu where you can change all the tone mappings with different targets. I know that, but even if I use dynamic tone mapping, I can get a, a good result. So just by lowering the black level, you're going to get rid of that picture being washed out. Let me reduce the. I forgot the setting I was using here. I nailed the settings, but I forgot it. Let me reduce the ISO because it is clipping a little bit. Yeah. So try that and share the settings in the description. If you have any questions, I'm going to try to help you uh, and see if we, can, if we can figure out those settings on other OLEDs because this is fantastic, man. This looks absolutely amazing. And yeah, it's basically I know I can get this result on every single game because this works over SDR so the game is opening on SDR uh, but it isn't on this HDR format so the TV is uh, basically doing the work for you <laughs> instead of the developers because the developers they don't work on HDR they don't support HDR at all like this game a lot of ray tracing and a lot of stuttering that's it <laughs> and yeah, they don't care about HDR, but, you know, you spend a lot of money on your HDR TV, you want to play on HDR. <laughs> SDR is just not, it's not even close, man. Not even close. So, let me know if you have uh, any questions and try to figure out those settings on your TV and share that with everyone. Also, let's say that, for example, you have an S95B or S95C. And the HGIG on those TVs is clipping, let's say, at 1000 nits. I'm not sure. Just open the HDR calibration app, use HGIG, and increase that peak brightness until you see uh, clipping. So that's going to be the clipping point. Then go and force limited. So open that near black test pattern, force limited. And then lower the black level a little bit more until you crush what I show you. And by forcing limited, you are also changing the clipping point because you are expanding the, the signal, basically. So by forcing limited, the HGIG option on the S95B or any of those OLED TVs is going to be different. So you're going to you're going to push more brightness by forcing limited because it's going to change the clipping point. So maybe on the S95 B or C, the best option is going to be force limited, then lower the black level and use HGIG. That might be the best option or the best option might be the dynamic tone mapping option that the TV has. I would need to test it. Um, but yeah, test it if you have the display and share the settings on the description.